In today's tech tip, I'll be showing you how to install FC25, the new game, on your Windows PC. So this is very simple, just follow these steps uh, carefully. Now the first thing you need to do is go to your favorite browser, and then you want to go to Steam. Okay, so just go to Steam power.com so store.steampower.com which is the official steam website okay now on the steam website just go to the search function and then search for fc25 and you can see ea sports fc25 is ready it was launched on 27th september so just click on that and that opens the fc25 page okay now here you're going to see two things one you will see the price of the game and the other thing you're going to see is the also the price of the ultimate edition the other thing you're going to see is the system requirements okay so if you scroll a little down you can see the system requirements and what you want to do is check if you have these system requirements so for the processor we have amd ryzen 5 1600 or at least intel core i5 at 6600k you need to have at least 8 gigs of RAM and graphics. You can see the system requirements. Storage space should be at least 100 gigs of available space. So just make sure you have all this stuff. Okay. Now I'm just going to check my storage space because I'm not quite sure about that. So let me just go ahead and check mine. And you want to check the storage space in the drive you intend to install your game. Okay. So if you intend to install it in drive D, just make sure you have storage space in drive D. Okay, so I intend to install mine in drive C. So I'll just right click on that and then check on properties. And I have 101 gigs. So I'm just, uh, I've just made it by one gig. So I have enough space to install FC25. Now, if you find that your drive C does not have enough space, you can always go to another drive, maybe drive D, check how much space you have there. And if you have space there, then feel free to install it in another drive. You don't have to do it on drive C. But usually drive C is the best, especially if you have an SSD for your drive C. Anyway, once you check the system requirements, these are the minimum requirements and these are the recommended requirements for best performance. Now, if you're ready and you have all the requirements, then the next thing you want to do is make sure you have the Steam client installed on your PC, okay? So if you don't have it yet, you can just click on install Steam and then you can go ahead and download Steam, install it, and then sign in with your Steam account. Now, I already have Steam, so I'm just going to go ahead and launch it. Just click on the start button, find Steam, the app, and launch it. So it's going to update. So it's currently launching and logging me in. If you're not logged in, then you need to log in. There you go. So we have Steam launched and ready to go. So here we have this ad. So let me just close that so we can concentrate on the Steam app. Now in the Steam client, now you can go ahead and find FC25. Now, before you do this, obviously make sure you have some money in your wallet or the credit card that's linked to your Steam account has some funds in it enough to purchase the game. So, since I do, I just go to FC25 and then basically to the search function, just search for FC25 and then you should see from the results FC25 is right there. So, click on it. And here is FC25. So on the page, you have the option to either download the basic EA Sports 25, FC25, or you can install the Ultimate Edition. Of course, this one comes at an extra $30. So it is 69.99, and this one is 99.99. So there's a $30 difference between the uh, basic EA Sports and the Ultimate Edition. Now, with the Ultimate Edition, you just get a few extra things. If you scroll down a little, you should be able to see that. 
okay so esports fc 25 ultimate edition includes 4600 fc points so basically that's the main difference here so i'll just go ahead and install the basic esports fc 25 okay if you want those points you can go ahead and install this one so click on add to cart and then it's going to be added to your cart that's going to cost $70 so you can either view cart or continue shopping if you have other things to buy just go ahead and uh, add them to your cart but since I'm ready I'll just click on continue shopping and I can just go around and look for something to to buy okay once you're done you can just go to the top here and click on cart that opens your shopping cart and then now click on continue to payment so it's going to give you the estimated total you can see my steam wallet balance is too low that's true because i only have five bucks here so you choose a different payment method you can either choose paypal you can choose a visa uh, a debit card mastercard american express discover all these payment options so what you need to do is just select the payment option that works for you okay now if you have paypal that's even better so i'll just go ahead and select visa because that's what i want to use and then you want to add your credit card details in case you didn't have any saved credit card details in your steam account you can just go ahead and enter them right now in case you want to use paypal you can just come back here and click and use paypal so mainly it depends on how you want to pay and which payment option is ready for this so since i decided to go with a credit card i'll just enter my credit card details and then scroll down and click on continue so it still needs uh, please enter your billing phone number so let me do that and now since my uh, information is ready my credit card details have been filled in and now i'm ready to purchase all i need to do now is click on purchase now before you do that obviously you have to read and then eventually agree to the terms of steam subscriber agreement so make sure you click on that and then click on purchase there you go so we have successfully purchased fc25 and an email confirmation has also been sent to my email so you can go ahead and click on install content right now okay now in case you don't click it or you don't want to install it right now you can just go to the home page okay you can just get out of here and install it later when you want in fact you can even purchase the game from a different device and install it on a different device as long as you install the steam client on that device okay so i'm just going to go to the home page anytime you want to install the game all you have to do is go to the library and in your library on the left hand side you can see all your purchases okay so you should see fc25 there it's called ea ea sports fc25 anytime you can go there and just click on install once you click on install you're gonna choose whether you want to create a start menu shortcut and a desktop shortcut if you want those or you don't want you can go and check and then check respectively okay so i'm just gonna check both and then choose where you want to install your game now it's always going to default to drive c for most people but in case you want to change that then you can always go ahead and change that to a different storage location okay so you can actually see the actual space required is 48.83 gigs so that's the actual space required for the game but of course as you keep playing the game and you keep saving stuff it's going to require more and more space and that's why they recommended 100 gigs so anyway since we're ready just click on install my drive c is ready so i'll just go ahead and click on install once again now it says please read this agreement to its entirety you must agree to the terms of eula play esports fc25 i think this is european union something so make sure you choose the correct language here and then read and eventually click on accept now once you do that it's going to start downloading your game 
and as long as you have internet connection on your pc then it's just going to continue downloading the game even if you don't finish today you can switch off your computer start again tomorrow and continue downloading of course depending on the speed of your internet connection now mine is pretty fast as you can see i'm already at 300 almost half a gig already so it should take varying amounts of time depending on how much or how fast your internet is so i'm just gonna pause this video right here and allow the game to get downloaded and installed on my pc and then i'll, I'll be right back to show you how to proceed and how to launch the game and how to play it on your windows pc so once the download is complete this button will now turn into a play button and you can launch the game from here and also you should have some desktop shortcuts so depending on whether you selected a desktop shortcut or not you may have one here or you can have a button in the start menu so let's try and see if we have one here we are in the start menu and if you want one on your desktop you can right click and then click on pin to start that will add one to your taskbar okay so let's go and launch fc25 so i'm just gonna launch it from the start menu here we are so click on that it's gonna ask you to allow this app to make changes to your device click on yes it's currently starting the game so let's open up steam And it should launch FC25 in a few. So let's just wait and see. So you kind of have to also have the Steam client. So it's going to prompt you to either install it. And if you already have the, not the Steam client, the EA app client. Okay, so we have this EA app. So let's go ahead and sign in to your EA account. If you don't have an EA account, then you can always click here to create an EA account and then install the EA app or the EA client on your PC. I'm also going to leave a video for this down in the description. So let me sign into my EA ID. And then you'll have to link your EA account to Steam. Now, of course, you can still go ahead and just use EA and buy the game directly from EA, but this one is from Steam. So we kind of have to link the EA account and Steam account. So click on link accounts. So the accounts are now linked. So just click on get started and we should be good to go. Now, in case you're trying to launch FC25, maybe you just installed it either from Steam or from the EA app, and you're getting this error saying EA anti cheat encountered an error, please restart your PC. So, there are a couple of things you can do to fix this problem. And the first thing you want to do is actually restart your PC. So, I'm just going to close all this. I'm going to close all that and actually go ahead and restart my PC. And with the PC restarted, try and launch the game once again. So you can either launch it through Steam or through any other platform. So let me try Steam. It's going to launch the Steam app. And with Steam launched, go to library, find your FC25 game, click on it and then try to launch it again from here. So that may launch the EA app. So in case it does, just uh, wait for it to launch. And FC25 is launching.
it's a little slow could be because I'm also recording and my specs for my PC are not that high. So in the first few days, I did have issues with FC25 because my graphics card had not yet been updated. It was the first time installing, I had some errors. But once you get everything sorted out and your PC is ready to actually game, it's usually a very simple process. So all you have to do is go and launch Steam. That's if you don't have a desktop shortcut, just go ahead and launch Steam. And with Steam launched, just go to your library, find EA Sports FC 25. Now for future, just before you launch the game, just right click, click on manage and then select add desktop shortcut. Now, once you do that, you're always going to have a desktop shortcut for EA Sports FC 25. Okay, so you can see right there. So you can always launch the game from right there. Okay, in future. So let's go ahead and launch and let me just show you how easy it is to launch this time now that i have everything set up it's obviously going to ask to open steam if steam is not open and then of, of course it's also going to ask to it's going to have to launch the ea app client and then it's going to launch the game There you go. So here are the last settings. Just uh, press enter on your keyboard or just click on this with your mouse and the game is launched and ready to go. So that is basically how to uh, install, set up and launch FC25. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down in the comment section. And if you found this useful in any way, don't forget to leave a thumbs up and even subscribe for more tips. And I will talk to you in the next one. Good luck.